photography collection of the New York Public Library comprises approximately 400,000 photographs, including images from every photographic process from the daguerreotype to digital imagery. It is one of the most comprehensive and largest collections of its kind in the United States. The focus of the collection here at the library has historically been documentary photography. Typically, I think when people think about documentary photography, they think of projects like the Farm Security Administration Project or also the Changing New York project that Berenice Abbott completed during the 1930s. Dorothea Lange actually gave a large body of work to the library at the end of her life. One of those projects was called The American Country Woman and was basically a retrospective of her work documenting migrant farmers throughout the United States in the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. Because photographs themselves are documents, there's some confusion or debate about what exactly documentary photography is. The eminent photo historian and curator Beaumont Newhall actually summed up the struggle to describe documentary photography and the attempt to come up with a better word. Historical, factual, none of those seemed to work, but he did talk about a favorite quote of Dorothea Lange that was by Goethe that I feel really describes well the kind of photograph that she took and that really is a better way to think about the kinds of photographs in the collection of the library. Each traveler should know what he has to see and what properly belongs to him on a journey. The quote by Goethe, I think, gives us a way to think more broadly about documentary photography and ways in which all of these photographers are really engaged in the world. As I continue to develop the collection today, I think about the ways in which photographers are engaged in the world around them. And a great example of that is the Australian photojournalist Stephen DuPont. DuPont has been involved in a project called Narcostan, or the Perils of Freedom, which documents the drug trade that has grown up in Afghanistan since 2001 and the overthrow of the Taliban. Certainly, Stephen DuPont is a great example of the concerned photographer or the engaged photographer when we're speaking about social engagement or political engagement. In that sense, he has predecessors such as Danny Lyon who worked on documenting the civil rights movement of the 1960s. But Danny Lyon's work as Dorothea Lange's can also be appreciated on different levels for its artistic quality and that shows the engagement of an artist with his work. And for me, Stephen DuPont's work is really a prime example of work that we can appreciate both aesthetically and also for its relevance to what's happening in the world today.